Skinny spazoid. When military historians talk about who is the greatest strategist in history, often the name Paul von Leto Vorbeck comes up. Fighting in German East Africa in World War I, Vorbeck, with his army of 1,400, defeated opposing forces totaling at 300,000, which is why it is considered the greatest feat of guerrilla warfare in history. Number 10. Loyalty of Troops After Service In 1964, the government of Germany had decided to give pay to all Ascaris that had fought with Vorbeck. Difficulties had arisen as many of them did not have the papers that Vorbeck gave them. However, in the end, it worked out as the soldiers who came were able to either bring their old uniforms or perform the manual of arms, which not a single man failed. This shows the drive that Vorbeck was able to put in a group of soldiers with no prior attachment or identity involved with. Many streets are named after Vorbeck as well in France, Germany, and Austria. Number 9. Refusal to Fight in the Boxers' Rebellion Vorbeck was posted in China in the year 1900 as part of the International Alliance Forces to help against the Boxers. However, Vorbeck was not interested in fighting guerrilla soldiers as he thought it was detrimental to the discipline of the German army and left China around a year later. Number 8. Ignored orders from superiors. One of the shrewd decisions that Vorbeck made in order to pull off his grandiose strategies was ignoring the orders of superiors, specifically Heinrich Schnee, a governor interested in neutrality in German East Africa. Vorbeck, of course, ignored his orders in order to create his own composite army within the German military that potentially he could have got in trouble for. Number 7. Fluent in Swahili. Vorbeck was able to gain the admiration of the people whom he worked with by speaking Swahili fluently. African soldiers were said to have exclaimed that we are all Africans here, including Prussian-born Vorbeck. Vorbeck was also known to be very appreciative of African people and his admiration showed in his troops. Number six, took in black soldiers. Another unconventional thing that Vorbeck did besides ignoring orders from superiors was taking in black soldiers from Africa. Vorbeck's army was small and mostly consisted of native Ascaris. Vorbeck was said to be a man bound by discipline and nothing else. Number five, promoted even though he ignored orders. In 1917, when the German government had learned of Vorbeck's success in battle, he was promoted regardless of his ignoring orders of Heinrich Schnee beforehand. Vorbeck was promoted to Major General. Number four, ability to move troops through tough terrain. Vorbeck was able to move his troops in harsh terrain of places like Mozambique. Vorbeck was able to move his troops across a river after distracting the enemy with explosives. After this, the enemy was prepared for Vorbeck, but expected him to come with a frontal assault. However, since he was able to maneuver in the river so well, they ended up getting flanked. These details describe the Battle of Nagomano. Number 3. Expert Use of Resources Vorbeck was an expert user of resources. He was able to always gain enough power in order to have important equipment like machine guns and mortars. Vorbeck was also said to cut off supplies so that the enemy would not gain them, and was also able to use natural resources like heat, swamp, and jungle to his advantage. Number 2. Managed a ceasefire with the British. 
British magistrate Hector Crowd waved a white flag signaling a ceasefire to Vorbeck after he had taken the town of Kasima from the British. They negotiated a ceasefire that meant that there would be no more fighting in these areas as long as Vorbeck surrendered his army, which he did. The spot of this ceasefire is now marked by the Chambeshi Monument in the northern province of Zambia. Number one, warded off British, Belgian, and Portuguese forces with guerrilla warfare. The reason that Vorbeck is considered a strategic genius is because of the results he showed. As stated before, the total enemy soldiers in his army of 1,400 took out what was around 300,000. Vorbeck was undefeated on the battlefield and beat multiple different forces, including the British, Belgians, and Portuguese.